Ephesians 6 18 tells us about all kinds. There are different kinds of prayer. I'm not going to get into that now because I'm only prayerlessness. Prayerlessness is a disaster. There are people today who don't pray. Many of you don't know that God expects you to pay tight of all things, not only money. Tight of your day. Tight of your day. 24 hours a day. So you must give God 2 hours 40 minutes in prayer. Everybody or any believer who doesn't pray for at least 2 hours 40 minutes a day has not paid his tight. Any believer who don't pray for at least 2 hours 40 minutes a day has not paid his tight. What am I saying? If you cannot do it at once, break it. An hour, an hour, 40 minutes. In between, as you are moving, you are spraying in the holy. As you are moving out, you are praying in the Your life is burdensome. Prayer makes you light. Prayer helps you to traffic in the realm of immortals. Prayer helps you to have intercourse with spirits. Prayer helps you to interface with the elements of the spirit. You start talking to celestial beings when you understand the place of prayer. Am I speaking to somebody here? You start having conversations with celestiality. Your terrestriality is swallowed up. Your terrestriality submerges and gives way because you are trafficking in the realm of immortals. You have become another kind of them. You have come to the realm where you are interfacing with the powers to come. You have come to the realm where you buy into five years ahead. You see five years ahead and begin to construct it backwards. Am I talking to somebody right now? You are saying God. Anytime! God say you. Anytime you don't pray, you disrespect me. You are looking down on me. You are toying with me when you don't pray. That is what God is telling you this morning. For those of us who have become prayerless, I think I read something. Is it your CR 7 7? I read something one time there. He said, okay, yeah. He said, they are all hot as oven. You know what it means? Their life is choking. And have devoured their judges. All their kings are falling. Why? There is none that calleth unto me. So his life is hot like oven. All the judges are falling apart. They are devoured. Malato barikataya. They are shattered. Because there is none. There is none that collects on me. Stop giving. Stop, stop, stop postponing prayer. Anytime prayers, the, the thought of prayer enters your heart, pray then. Never strategize a time to pray. Anytime the thought of prayer enters your heart, pray then. Because Satan will do everything to fight it. That is why you, you go to bed and you are saying, I'm going to pray by three. By two, the Lord wakes you up to prepare you. You look at the time. You say, I'm going to, I'm going, I'm going to just take a little more sleep. I'll wake up 2.45. As though you, you, you own nature. Sleep is your cousin that you have, you have given the time to let you, to, to let you be. Yeah. So you open your eye, and the Lord does it such a way you open your eye 250. It's okay. I will let me sleep for five minutes. And you sleep again. You open your eyes 340. Say, ah, they don't break finish. <laughs> let me just wait for one that's without number. Close your eyes. And by the time you open your eye, it's some minutes to five. You open your eye to five. They are just doing worship. One that's without number. Number is singing. Say, okay, Papa, I've not come up. <laughs> you wait, let Papa come up. <laughs> then you sleep again. By the time you open your eye, I'm reading testimony. See? E? It has finished. Let me cuckoo sleep. <laughs> On the attack.
under attack. This is, this is going to two years of wonders without number. And we have never repeated an episode. We have never repeated one episode. One episode. And people are all over the world. I see people meet me. When I walk into a certain place, I hear bagada, gada, gada, gada. I say, hey, this place looks like Omega. They say wonders without number. It changed our lives. It changed our prayer lives. It made us close to God. And there are people here. There are people here who don't follow. Someone said to me, say, shift it. I said, what? That period, that sleep, they sweet pass. Sleep, can you imagine? So, I would like, what is the sacrifice if you pray when sleep is no more available? That is what they call sacrifice. Am I communicating here? The first thing must be about prayerlessness. It attracts the judgment of God. Of God. Of God. Prayerlessness is crushed by intimacy buoyancy. Prayerlessness is crushed by intimacy buoyancy. Where your desire is to be intimate with God, prayerlessness dies. Hey, you don't understand what I'm saying? Sir, there are people, the only time they pray is when there's a need. No, that's not the intimacy I'm talking about. Intimacy is a person speaking in tongues just to enjoy the Holy Ghost. Kalata Bekosa is the person speaking in tongues, building up yourself in your most holy faith. Sometimes when we just speak in tongues, we speak in tongues to enjoy the Holy Ghost. We don't speak in tongues. Get to that point where intimacy becomes your desire. John 10 verse 30, I and my father are one. That is intimacy. I and my father are one. Intimacy is intermingling with divinity. When your humanity is swallowed in the efficacy of his divinity. Intimacy is when terrestriality is submerged in terrestriality. Your, your terrestriality is submerged in celestiality. When your human nature gives way so that the Godhead can be expressed. Am I talking to somebody? Intimacy. I like what Elijah said in 1 Kings 17 verse 1. He said, according to the word of the Lord, before whom I stand. Intimacy. Please, sir, if you want to be prayerful and kill prayerlessness, stop having a need mentality. Have an intimacy consciousness. I want to be close to God. I am praying. This is my pursuit. I want to be close to God. Anytime I am in a prayer service and a need is raised up, my passion drops. Anytime I'm in a prayer service and an intimacy is geared up, my passion increases. Because, sir, what makes you constantly prayerful is the consciousness of intimacy. Speaking in tongues for two hours and asking for nothing. Speaking in tongues, building up yourself. I've told you the story of how I was in Accra sometime back and I said to people in Ghana, I said we're going to have a service tomorrow morning I want you to come with a bottle of oil I'll bless it, you anoint your businesses no, you, you pour it down for souls to be saved anyone that comes around your house that comes around where you walk, where you live as they cross that oil they will fall on their face before the Lord to have an encounter with God it was anointing for soul winning, oil when I called forth the next day in the morning, many people forgot. So I say, hey, hey. I say, it's all right. Tomorrow morning, I'm rounding up before I leave. Come with the oil for your business. You pour this oil. If you have a shop, there's going to be a mad traffic. You're going to see customers on the queue. That morning, I saw people with jerry cans. Five liters, ten liters. And the self-conscious a need conscious generation go through the lord's prayer only one give us this day finish finish every other thing was about him about people about him about people about him but today our prayer is now i me myself i me myself 
I, me, myself, oh God, give me car, give me house, give me wife, and this and this and this. My school fees, my house rent, landlord, landlady, help me, pay my rent, and this and this and this. Oh God, give me house, give me car, give me clothes, a new phone. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah? iPhone, 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 charger, laptop, and this and this and this. Oh God, can you hear? Are you there? Give me car, give me house, a husband, and a wife, a child, fine boy, fine girl, and this and this and this. Oh God, our prayer is about us. Please allow me to express myself. I'm not a comedian. <laughs> the way you're laughing, you're making me. <laughs> but that's exactly what many people do. But prayer, nothing crushes prayerlessness. Like the desire to be one with God. And nothing empowers intimacy like three mi mindset three mentality if you want to be intimate in the place of prayer you must understand the mystery of intercession you must understand the mystery of intercession intimacy once in a while just mutter a prayer lord i pray for the world lord i pray for my family lord i pray for my uncle i pray intercession is interception intercession is interception i like what the bible says in job 42 verse 10 and god turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends and gave him twice as much as he had before hey you're a pastor do you know a man of god needs prayer you pray for your pastor first thessalonians 5 25 pray for us paul was talking pray for us second thessalonians 3 verse 1 pray for us romans 15 30 pray for us Pray for us. Hebrews 13, 18. Pray for us. This is Paul, a man who walked in dimensions that men only dreamt of. A man who was in the third heavens. A man who had, who had dimensions of interaction with angels. Yet he said, pray for us. Pray for us. Intercession. 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 The, 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 the biggest church in the world, largest church in the world, Yoido Food Gospel Center, pastored by Young Cho, they had 50,000 people that they pay to pray. Their work is to pray. Their job is to pray. 10,000 every day. They assemble them just to pray. Don't do any other work, just pray. And the church was growing astronomically. The growth was phenomenal. Because they were there to pray. Intercession. We have too many prayerless people today. Am I talking to somebody here? That woman, as a husband, that woman that visits your wife and all she comes to do is to come and talk. Put a ban on her. Report her to her husband. Don't come to my house again. If you're coming to my house, it's to make my wife prayerless. Don't come here again. Am I talking to somebody here? That man that always comes to make your husband take him out. Report him to God. <laughs> He's God. Cow will not get in. Report anything. Am I communicating here? Satan wants to keep you on your phone and take you from the throne. You are pressing, you are pressing, you are always pressing, you are always pressing. No wonder at night they press you. No wonder at night they press you. You are always pressing, always pressing. Many of you, the time you spend on your phone, if you spend it on your knees, you would have been a sign and a wonder. Even as I'm talking now, you are pressing. I'm preaching, no, you are still pressing. I did church. I did church. I did church. As I'm talking now, you are pressing. Papa is preaching. When he finish, I will reply you. You are pressing. You are pressing. That laptop that wants to take you to hell. That phone that wants to take you to hell. This is January. I'm nice. This is January. We 
you are fasting, so let me not talk. Am I communicating here? 